Five minutes time. We have plenty of time. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Hello. Hi. Uh, good afternoon. Amanda, good afternoon. Joel, oh, are you? Oh, oh, Armando has joined. Yeah, good evening. Welcome, Armando. Professor Manas. <laughs> yeah, Professor <laughs> Armando, welcome. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> so it's welcome Armando. to you. You are yeah. at home, um, Armando. No, in fact, I am at uh, uh, my daughter's home. Oh, good. okay, okay. Not in also, hospital. Yeah. Okay, good. No, not in hospital. No, my daughter's okay. home. I was uh, yesterday. I was, you were uh, on the beach side. Yeah, because I'm gonna have lunch here, <laughs> great, great. and then uh, I'm uh, I'm gonna okay. go to the hostel in the afternoon. Okay, fine, fine. Okay, what time is it, Professor? Uh, Excuse me. What time is it? Uh, it's eleven o'clock in Brazil. Oh. Good morning. Yeah. Oh, it's, uh, oh yeah. Uh, yeah. Yes. Not bad. And uh, uh, it's 4 p.m. for um, you, Professor Joel. It's 4 p.m. for you or 3.30? Uh, no, the 3. 3. 3, 3 yeah. Oh, right. Okay. Okay, great. Great. Are you 3, are, are you 3 p.m.? Ah, yes. I'm fine. Yeah, I'm fine. I cannot come back uh, in uh, Asia. There is no international, uh, intercontinental uh, flight. Ah, yeah, okay. yeah. So it's the same in Brazil. We cannot move around. So we are yes. completely. Uh, there is uh, flight in, uh, in, in Europe, but not. Um, so they said to me, uh, Lamanto said to me, uh, you can travel via Singapore and in, from Singapore to um, uh, Vietnam, you can. But, but when I arrive, I, I have to be in Katorzen. So I will stay in, in, in a, a room hotel or apartment during uh, two weeks. And after I come back. Quarantine, quarantine. <laughs> and you, Katozen, in France, when I'm coming back from uh, Vietnam. <laughs> right, right. So it's complicated. <laughs> it's complicated. And, uh... But uh, I'm working, writing a lot. Uh, editing a lot of movie, yeah. putting on. Uh, and you, are, you are publishing quite a good number of movies now. Yes, are... I'm, uh, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I just finished uh, writing a book with uh, Chinese. Oh, that's great. And, uh, and uh, will uh, be in French, in English, and okay. will be published in France in um, beginning of next year, in two months. Okay. I'm uh, editing video on uh, YouTube, one per week. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's a big success. I, I'm, I'm uh, in that international colorectal group, uh, you are quite active. Yeah. So how about you, Professor Armando? Things are in Brazil. Is it on control, COVID? How is the COVID scenario? You are muted. You are muted. You are muted. Yeah. You are no, mute. You, are, you please yes, unmute. Okay. Yeah. Okay. How can I say? Yes. Yeah. How can I say? Well, uh, we, we pass through a different kind of... Uh, curve of uh, of uh, infection here okay so there was a ascending curve and then a plateau mm -hmm. this plateau was maintained for several months okay and now it's really decreasing 
but uh, it was not uh, a pike like uh, in US in other countries because okay. it's very difficult and I believe that India is the same. It's very difficult to avoid uh, putting people together because okay. uh, here in Brazil uh, we have people that lives in uh, uh, 10 uh, square feet, uh, 10 people. Okay. So if they okay. live together in a small uh, space, uh, okay. we cannot put them apart. And so it's, it's very difficult to, to do that. And uh, because of that, I believe that uh, uh, the majority of the, the people already get contact with the, the virus. So, and uh, the deaths are, are decreasing day by day. Now, now we have only, uh, I believe, uh, 60 or 70 deaths per day. 60 to 70 deaths per day, is it? Oh. Yeah, because it was, uh, That's a big uh, was uh, uh, some months ago, it was 1,000 per day. Oh, my God. Okay. Well, but, uh, you see, in France, yesterday, it was uh, 400. Per day? It's per a, day? For, yes, uh, last day it was 400, if I remember, four, 450. <laughs> okay. Yes, because... Uh, 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 it's a second wave. It's a second wave coming. So the yeah. government decide to do a new confinement. Okay. So how about the operative work uh, in Brazil? Excuse Starting me? Your, how about operating in Brazil now? What's the scenario? I mean, are you all operating or the... It's, uh, no, no, I am. I am. Yes. Okay. Fine. At the beginning of the pandemic, uh, we stopped a little bit, it decreased the, the number of surgeries in fifty percent. Okay. But uh, three months ago, everything returned back to the to the real life. So we are performing uh, almost uh, all, every day. So. Okay. Okay. So it's nice to see you, uh, Armando. <laughs> Privilege to see you, ah. and I, I am also uh, very happy because you are my master, and uh, it's, it's nice to see your videos. It's still learning from you, and I miss you a lot, Joel. I really miss uh, you. I, I, I miss you too, and uh, all the, the team of uh, Brazilian uh, Ircad. Uh, Barretos. Yeah. And, uh, and you are the best people of Professor Joel. Professor Joel always boasts of you, Armando, that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I remember, and uh, Professor Sao know that. Yeah. Uh, I introduced, uh, I invited you in um, India with uh, uh, Palanivelu, with uh, uh, Bala. And uh, it is uh, why we are so known now in uh, in India. Right. And you are yeah. very known in India too, uh, Amando. <laughs> no, that's true. Joel introduced me to India and several other places. But uh, what I feel more motivated is that uh, time is, is passing and Joel is performing better and better. It's like a French wine. If you keep it, it's gonna be more expensive and better and better. And so this is Joel. No, no, uh, French wine is more and more expensive. I'm more and more cheaper. <laughs> yeah, absolutely true. As uh, Professor Joel is aging, he becomes uh, younger day by day. <laughs> Uh, I'm sh I'm sure you will love the video because it is a subject I have proposed to Professor Sao because it's uh, not evocate except now when we have uh, Facebook uh, CJS uh, Coroital uh, group for example uh, the, you have people sub showing robotic Donovillier dissection um, it's a crazy very bad dissection I will show how to do. <laughs> well, uh, I, I, I'm not going to speak some names, but I was invited to watch a guy uh, teaching uh, colectomy using the robot. Yeah. 
Yes. And uh, the dissection, there is no dissection of the vessel. So everything is uh, like yeah, uh, no. legal but... sure. And that at the end, they ask me, what do you think about that? I, 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 I told to the girl <laughs> that uh, was, uh, and I say, I'm going to speak with you in private, but uh, uh, I, I, I learned here how not to do surgery. <laughs> no, no, no. And uh, my message is always, and you, you know, it's not only technology, it's uh, to know the anatomy, the knowledge, to know the embryology. We will show that. I will show. I will try to explain. Basic, simple. Showing what my assistants are doing now. And uh, I can tell you, Armando, you are the best pupils I have. No, I'm not a pupil, I'm a mentor. Because you learn <laughs> alone, you learn alone. Your skill is you. <laughs> Oh, thank you. But I was a mentor for you. Yes, of course. You are always a mentor for me. <laughs> and uh, you, 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 when, well, I, 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 can, I can tell you something. I was one before met, and before met Joel, and after Joel, I, I, I became a, a different kind of surgeon. And uh, he teach me a lot, and I could improve uh, uh, my, my technique. And, and I, I really uh, thank him for that. Because uh, uh, in fact, all, me all my all life, those... yeah, I, yeah. I could not do what I'm able to do nowadays, and and this is very important. I have, I have, I have our, our all process. those things from Professor Joel about you, Amando. So <laughs> <laughs> he has told everything uh, about you that uh, how he likes you so much and how good you actually was an excellent uh, product of Professor Joel. He always boasts of you quite a lot. Well, uh, so we have a lot many we... friends coming up, uh, another 10 15 minutes to go. So we'll be starting okay. up, uh, start up at uh, 8 p.m. Uh, Indian oh, time. I put, I put a tie. Yeah, yeah doesn't uh, matter, doesn't matter. Uh, you look much well, smarter than that, sir. <laughs> I, I am in real Only for you. Oh, okay. <laughs> Great, thank you. I am in Rio, Joel. They use no tie and sometimes no shirts and sometimes nothing. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But uh, for you to respect you, to respect this. Uh... Sure. So we have uh, Professor Prashanna Kumar Reddy, Dr. Suvas Khanna. So many of uh, Indian friends uh, have already joined in. Uh, many people will be still be coming in. So how is the IRCAD now running, uh, Professor Armando? So I'm coming back. Excuse me? How, how is the IRCAD uh, now running in? Well, uh, we, we stopped our, our uh, training uh, process. Courses. OK. Uh, we, because of the pandemic, we stopped it. And so and uh, uh, unfortunately, we have to wait for uh, for uh, Maybe another three, four months. Exactly, exactly, exactly yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. And the same scenario in Taiwan uh, division as well. I, I don't, I, I don't think that is the same scenario because they, they are under control over there. But here, okay. uh, all the borders they are closed for Latin America, and so mm -hmm. the people cannot travel, and okay. uh, and so. We, we decide to postpone several for our courses. But in spite of that, you are having 60, 70 deaths per day. That's a big figure. I mean, uh, it's only for your city or it's uh, for the entire country you are talking of? Well, uh, usually they, they travel uh, a lot uh, coming uh, from uh, the country, but uh, usually 40 to 6% they come outside of the country. 
And so, okay. and okay. this is why he decided to to postpone a little bit. Okay. So, Sukriya Nayak, uh, good evening, sir. Good evening. Good evening, Manas. <laughs> How are you? Uh, yeah, I'm fine. Thank you. Okay. So, we have just uh, wait for another 10 minutes to start. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Professor Joel and Professor Armando, both of them have joined. Okay, that's good. Another 10 minutes to go. Okay, good. I hope, uh, yeah, already 60 plus are there. So yeah, yeah. I'm sure that number will increase. Oh, sure. Okay, thank you for organizing this. I think uh, ah, okay. it's, <laughs> yeah, it's a good it's... engagement as well, and I think must be entertaining for I mean, it's a learning and enriching for everybody. Yeah, exactly. So, this is the best way to reach out. At this absolutely, time also. absolutely, absolutely. Ujari, sir, good evening. Prasanna Reddy, sir, good evening. Good evening, sir, good evening. Good evening, good evening. How are you? All right, sir, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Hi, Siddhas, good evening. Welcome. Yeah, good evening. Congratulations. Hello. Congratulations. Thank you, thank you. We already have Professor Joel and Professor Armando are already there logged in. We'll be waiting for another five, seven minutes more. No problem, sure. no problem. Sure. That's nice. I can see 68. It is a very good attendance. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it will be soaring. It will be definitely increasing more. Yeah, Sanat, Sanat, sir, Namaskar. Good evening. Hi, Dev, Dev Kumar. Good evening. Hi. 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 Good evening. Good, Good evening. evening. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Okay. I put my video off. Yeah, sure. No problem. So, Professor Mando, you will be uh, on this uh, TAB on 1st of December. Remember that? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes, yes. Don't worry. So, Joel, you had your coffee? You are done with your coffee?
डॉक्टर शर्मा हाय शर्मा गुड इवनिंग नमस्ते गुड इवनिंग गुड इवनिंग हाउ आर यू यू आर डूइंग अ गुड जॉब नो इट्स नॉट आई वी आर डूइंग अ गुड जॉब हां कंग्रेचुलेशंस थैंक यू सर इट्स ऑल रूटीन्स ऑफ ओके थैंक यू कीप हाउ आर ओके द प्रोफेसर जॉयल एंड प्रोफेसर अमांडा बोथ ऑफ देम आर दे हैव लॉग्ड इन हां uh both uh, of them they have logged in so sir joyal is uh, oh. yeah dr devta is there is still ah uh, yeah he must be there uh, dr devta and dr pampat uh, dr rat they have retired uh devta sir he is uh, now in kings uh, sarva sir uh, good evening good evening good evening good evening how are you I have enjoyed like anything. Okay, okay. So, so nice of you, Dr. Deepak. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. So just two more minutes and we'll be starting. You are starting at eight now. Yeah, sir, part eight. Yeah. Ah, it is almost. It is seven fifty nine. Uh, yeah, almost one 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 more minute. We'll be starting. Okay. Yeah. What is yes, sir? Good evening. Good evening. Best of luck. Thank you. <laughs> Ajay, if I I'm Roy, right. Roy, how are you? Yeah. Nice to see you again. Dr. Leroy, how are you? Dr. Leroy is fine, fit and fine. Hello, hello, Parvin. <laughs> hello, Parvin. How are you? Good, good to see you. How are you? you? <laughs> how are you? Good, great, good. Ah, uh, you are uh, uh, looking very prosperous now. <laughs> God is ultra kind. <laughs> okay. Dr. Leroy, you are uh, muted. Ah, uh, oh, uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Please, ah, uh, yeah. I, I, I'm listening what you say. <laughs> Okay, I think uh, I will first share my screen. Uh, then uh, Professor Leroy will be uh, sharing your screen. Uh, let me first uh, share my screen. So let us uh, start it. Very good evening to everybody, and uh, welcome to another episode of uh, uh, Surgical Academia. So just to uh, introduce this Surgical Academia platform to both the speaker and the moderator, and to the new attendees. So. Okay. Is my screen visible? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Fine. So I will just uh, I am introducing Surgical Academy at this platform to uh, our speaker, moderator, and all the new attendees. कौन सा नंबर यही नंबर होगा बेटा
जिस ज्यादा नहीं मैं भी मैं भी देखू मानस मानस कम कर दे कम कर दे कम कर दे कम कर दे बेटा मानस सर कोडियो कोडियो जस्ट म्यूट एवरीबॉडी please mute please mute In in this uh, uh, episode, we have a could you could all of you please uh, mute your mic? Could all of you please mute your mic? Could everybody mute the mic? Could everybody mute the mic? Sharma sir. प्लीज प्रोफेसर शर्मा कुड यू प्लीज म्यूट योर माइक ओके आई वाज जस्ट गोइंग थ्रू हाफ वे थ्रू सो इन दैट प्रोसेस इन फैक्ट टुडे वी हैव अ सेशन विद प्रोफेसर जॉय एम आई ऑडिबल टू एवरीबॉडी वुड समवन कंफर्म दैट वेदर आई एम ऑडिबल Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You are, you are, you are, clear. you are audible. Fine, fine. Thank very you. Very clear. Thank you. Yeah. Video, so, video is very clear, sir. Okay, fine. So I think in this uh, episode we have uh, an eminent speaker, Professor Joy Leroy, who is the founder and chairman of Hanoi High Tech Digestive Center in Saint Paul Hospital, Hanoi, in Vietnam. Uh, Professor Leroy is uh, from France. He is right now in France. so uh, to introduce professor leroy uh, he is the founder chairman of this hanoi high tech uh, digestive center uh, from 2016 he is the chairman and course director of colorectal sdc department he is uh, uh, emeritus professor in hanoi medical university he is the co director of ircard he is a visiting professor to many countries he is an educator he is an inventor he is an excellent teacher surgical teacher and uh, i mean uh, he is uh, curriculum bhaiti will take uh, pages to read i just brief them quite a bit he is a member of national french surgical academy uh, since uh, 1994 so my association with professor uh, joy leroy 
uh, dates back to 2013 in uh, Society of American Gastrointestinal Endoscopic Surgeons Conference in Baltimore in USA. When I was presenting laparoscopic surgery in chronic pancreatitis, after my presentation, Professor Leroy came to me and I appreciated. And from there, they onward, uh, we were uh, very good friends. So in the same evening, he was awarded this uh, pioneer awards in minimal invasive surgery from Society of uh, American Gastrointestinal Endoscopic Surgeons. And he's the only non-American to receive this award. And uh, Professor Leroy uh, is with uh, Professor Armando Melani, who is, uh, is one of his best people uh, who is moderating this session today. And uh, here is Professor Leroy is being awarded the Emeritus Professorship in Hanoi Medical University. Then today's moderator is a good friend, Professor Armando Melani from Brazil. He is the uh, professor in Federal University of Brazil and he's the di di scientific director of IRCAD Latin America. Professor Armando is a colorectal and trans anal surgeon at America's Medical City in Sao Paulo. He is since July 2011 the director of IRCAD America uh, Latina. I mean, that's the uh, IRCAD Latin American uh, version. To, uh, from July 9, 2011, uh, he has uh, been the director of this uh, IRCAD uh, Latin America. And uh, uh, Professor Armando has got uh, tremendous experience in colorectal surgery and particularly laparoscopic colorectal surgery. And in this sequence, the next week, same time, we'll be having another session with uh, Dr. P. Jagannath from Lilabati Hospital, Mumbai. And the session will be on tips and tricks of open, uh, sorry, this was, uh, uh, this is a wrong uh, flyer which has been added. Uh, the session will be on uh, Hylar Cholangiocastinoma, the tricks and the challenges. This is the last session that Dr. Jagannath had, maybe uh, that was on 1st of September. He is coming up with another session, uh, challenges and tricks of doing a hyalur cholangiocarcinoma. That's the next one that will be coming up next week, same time. So uh, now after uh, this, I don't uh, think there is no need to uh, waste more time on this. Uh, Professor Armando, I mean, the screen and air is yours. Now you can uh, give your initial comments and then invite Professor Leroy to give his talk. Well, uh, it is more than a privilege for me to be here as a moderator and also uh, introduce Joel Lehua. Uh, but he uh, created a lot of things we are using to. And the majority of us even don't know that Joel was the guy that created this fix. But much more than that, uh, Joel is a generous man. He, he tried to teach several and thousands of surgeons all over the world. In their own and he has a special feature. When he was in the lab, he usually go to a table for and teach them how to uh, use uh, the needle holder and how to do a stitch. But uh, uh, today, uh, we are going to have a privilege not to have uh, only a great surgeon, but a guy that understood very well the relationship uh, envelope as more than perform a good surgery to improve the well was the uh, the branch that comes out to the region pillar and get into the rectum uh, using laparoscopy he was champagne from he performed a TME problem Hey, we are going to have a great experience to have Joel, and uh, I, I don't want to speak more because uh, he's a great friend, but more as a human being. I know him very well, and uh, 
that we are going all of us we are going to le learn something from him joel my privilege to have you here this is your podium be free to do what you want <laughs> yeah it's going to be great i mean it's a privilege for everybody professor joel that uh, you are such a i mean so uh, armando is so true to his words that professor joel laroy is uh, not only a fantastic surgeon and educator is a fantastic human being as well and in my last 7 years of association with him i know he is a fantastic human being professor laroy please the podium the air the screen everything is yours now you can please start you are you are muted sir please unmute yourself please unmute yeah 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 yes thank you thank you for professor sao thank you to armando my friend i miss uh, him uh, and uh, all the, his family and all the team of uh, brazil and um, i'm very proud to participate to this uh, uh, new concept of um, teaching and uh, sharing uh, um, the experience I have and um, the tips, tricks I'm developing since a long time and sharing with uh, a lot of surgeons in the world. And honestly, uh, I'm very proud to see the progress of uh, surgery in uh, rectal surgery particularly worldwide where the, the gold standard we know what it is but it was uh, developed thanks to uh, internet to the possibility to teach people at distance and everywhere armando is going i'm going when we see young surgeon performing procedure it seems that we are doing all the same and even if they are not doing perfectly they do progress and they evaluate doing better and better so i will uh, send my lectures uh, okay fenêtre window this one uh, you have to uh click the present now then yes it is you have yeah. you have it yeah it's coming now it's coming okay thank you yeah. thank yes. you to yeah to my friend and um i'm uh, invited to speak and it is my proposal to professor sao uh, to speak on the uh, novidie fascia uh, during laparoscopic uh, tme for cancer and uh, to discuss if it is uh, um, good to preserve or is it necessary to sacrifice as we were thinking uh, since uh, a long time. So the purpose of this lecture, because it's good to have some uh, uh, purpose, is first to define the Novillier fascia. To see uh, the Novillier fascia and rectal cancer, if it is uh, necessary uh, or possible to preserve or to is necessary to resect. To see how we can discover and dissect doing surgery, particularly uh, in minimally invasive surgery, up to down laparoscopic TME. And is it, when we preserve, always possible? So first, what is a De Novillier fascia? De Novillier is a French doctor, French uh, um, uh, surgeon and anatomist. Uh, his name is Charles-Pierre De Novillier. He described in uh, April uh, 1836, um, or presented in the anatomic society, uh, um, a different uh, procedure, a different uh, uh, specimen of uh, pelvis, male pelvis, 
to um, do a study of the anatomy and described for the first time what he called a uh, ligament, puboprostatic ligament. But this is uh, uh, after he did his um, doctoral thesis in uh, August uh, 1837. Uh, where he, in Paris, uh, where he published the De Novillier Fascia and evoked for the first time uh, septum behind the prostate and seminal vesicle and uh, uh, in contact with the rectum. And it's uh, later, 60 years later, that uh, in 1899, he continued to work and publish in the uh, um, Journal of Anatomy in uh, French uh, the um, origin of uh, this um, septum. And uh, the embryologic anatomy I have uh, done is decided to do in embryo uh, different uh, sagittal uh, um, uh, pictures and uh, he concludes that uh, De Novillier, the fascia was a fusion of two works of embryologic peritoneal cul-de-sac. And it is, we can use De Novillier fascia only for male, because uh, it described for male patient, not for female patient. So when we speak on the female patient, we say rectovaginal fa genital fascia. And uh, normally we have to say rectogenital fascia also for male. So recently, I will say beginning of this century, Ophoven, Roth, and particularly Lindsay and Hall um, did a review of this anatomy. And uh, they conclude that the De Novillier fascia is anterior to the propria fascia of the rectum, and it is able, it is possible to dissect it from this uh, propria fascia. So the De Novillier's fascia is a single layer arising from the fusion of the two walls of the embryologic peritoneal cul-de-sac. For healed, and we know, when we do rectal surgery, and pelvic surgery, I will say, embryology and formation of cavities is the key of embryonic plane used in surgery. Watch these uh, drawings from Stelzner, autrician uh, surgeon and anatomist, and it described perfectly all the pelvic fascia around all the organs. And we can see that in male patient, the De Novillier fascia is anterior to the rectum, where the anterior wall, there is not a complete uh, propria fascia for ill and some surgeon. And for church in male patient, we have also the presacral fascia posterior, and laterally, we have the sidewall fascia on right and left and the rectum in the center with um, propria fascia around the mesorectum and rectum. This is an uh, animation I have done uh, to explain what we will do when we do a TME. We have the parietal fascia that is protecting a structure around, and particularly the plexus and vessels and uh, anterior organ. We have the De Novillier fascia, that is an anterior reinforcement of uh, uh, the um, uh, parietal fascia. And uh, the plane where we will do the dissection between the rectum and its propria fascia and the um, uh, parietal fascia. Preserving or resecting in rectal cancer, for Lince, the Novillier fascia is more closely um, against uh, or behind the seminal vesicle and the prostate than against the rectum. 
So when we do a rectal dissection on the propria fascia of the rectum in the anatomic plane, um, the denovillier fascia remains of the posterior aspect of the prostate and vesicle semina. This study done by uh, Lindsay has put the debates to rest. So we can separate, it's not included. But for that, what he did? He did a prospective uh, analysis of 30 specimens on male patients that had a TME um, for mid and low rectal cancer with a deep dissection of the anterior extraperitoneal rectum of the floor. And what he found in patients with anterior rectal carcinoma, tumor, 55% of the specimen had de novillier fascia present. So it is resected with the specimen. When anterior rectum was not involved, 90% of the specimen had no de novillier fascia include. That means that we can separate the anterior surgical plane for total mesorectal uh, excision for TME should be reconsidered for uh, some others, FANG. And uh, this section posterior to the denovillier fascia is feasible and practicable for patients without risk of positive anterior circumferential resection margin. That means that we dissection um, um, and they had, sorry, that uh, in case of anterior dissection, we can have uh, a risk of pelvic autonomic nerves injury and uh, high incidence of urogenital dysfunction. How to discover and dissect? First, when I do this surgery, and it is, uh, I would say, standard, uh, not really because some teams are on both sides, but I'm uh, working, I'm not rich, so I am a one laparoscopic unit. It was at the beginning, now you have screen everywhere in the operating room. Well, the operative team stay on the right side of the patient. Patient is in... Uh, Lloyd Davis position, both arm along the body, um, Trendelenburg and uh, right lateral um, right lateral tilt, with one assistant between the legs. I use five trocar. A key, a tip, very important for the trocar position. You see, T two, T three are uh, operative trocar. The T three is in the right iliac fossa. If you put two lateral, it is what I have seen when people are uh, using a robot and to justify the robotic instrument. They said, if we put, we can put lateral and we can correct with a pelvic brim, no handicap. It is why I if you put your trocar two lateral, lateral, I have sound I back have sound in my. Back uh, in my uh, uh, okay. okay, we can move. Can move. Oh, sorry, we can move, we can move um, uh, only, only uh, from, uh, from med uh, uh, medial. Uh, medial. It's why I propose, I propose to um, uh, move yeah, more move medially more this uh, this uh, uh, um, uh, trocar. trocar. Why? Because Why? we have, because more, we have mobility, more mobility, more possibility more to dissect very deep without uh, um, um, uh, problem with the pelvic brain. So, how I do? I have sound back in my... Um, okay, it's good. I, uh, no. Oh, it's... Uh, so, no. I'm sorry, I'm coming sorry, back I'm coming to back explain. To explain. Uh, sorry. sorry. So, this is... Uh, okay. So, you see, this is uh, how we do. 
um, follows medially the um, sidewalk fascia and go anterior on right. And uh, you see slowly like this, I will um, do the dissection from lateral to medial and um, going after anteriorly, this is a tumor at the limit of the um, Douglas pouch and we open the peritoneum. It's not myself operating, but my um, assistant, Dr. Dan, that is doing uh, uh, slowly. And as you see, we have uh, to do a good traction, counter-traction using uh, um, a soft instrument. In this case, we have edema because the patient had preoperative neoadjuvant radiochemotherapy. And uh, we do the retraction like this, and we open the plane. We have a lot of uh, edema. It is uh, why it's good to use a uh, um, sealing device as uh, harmonic, as uh, uh, ligature. And uh, you see the possibility and uh, to have uh, the... Oh, sorry. Oh. Ah, sorry. I'm coming. So now we have the prostate, the left seminal vesicle. We continue the dissection coming back and uh, laterally down to the pelvis, pelvic floor. It is important at this step to do a posterior freeing, to do a freeing of the distal rectum. Uh, and uh, you see slowly we divide the posterior attachment to the um, uh, presacral plane and fascia, and uh, we complete the dissection distally to mobilize and having the possibility to do uh, anterior dissection easier, pushing posteriorly the rectum, retracting anteriorly, you see with a simple forceps like this, and we will go slowly, step by step, dissecting around the rectum, from right, left, using sometimes, when it's difficult, we will see later, other movie, the anterior retraction using a retractor I design, and it is a product used, developed by Stoltz, and it is a retractor with different shape, depending, particularly in male patient, obese patient, when we have some difficulty to do a uh, dissection step by step. And thanks to this type of instrument, we can dissect very distal and do the distal division of the attachment and finally introduce the stapler distal to the tumor. I remember it was a, a tumor, T3 tumor at the upper part of the rectum. Other case, to explain, you remember, I said embryological anatomy, fusion of two layers. Some people say we have to dissect anterior, posterior. I said, no, we can do between. This is a dissection between the two layers of the De Nonvilliers fascia. I don't think it's useful. It's only to show that anatomy, so we can keep a part on the rectum and the other anterior. It's only to find the embryological plane that is a fusion between two layers. And sometimes the fusion, fusion is not complete. And you see, we can dissect between the two layers. It's only to explain the embryological anatomy. 
is it always possible to preserve? In case of anterior tumor, after radiotherapy, there is a risk of uh, adhesion, fixation. And this is a case with a very small electrode to open the plane. Size of the electrode is very important. This is monopolar dissection. We continue the dissection, but even with this, we have some difficulty. So we complete the dissection and finally uh, decide to resect the de Nonvilliers fascia and to pass behind to do to pass anterior to it and to do the complete resection with the de Nonvilliers fascia fixed on the anterior wall of the rectum. So you have seen edema. You have seen uh, it's difficult to dissect, small electrode for doing that, having also a good sealing system. This is another case. A patient, it's a male patient, T4 tumor, anterior tumor, good downstanding. It's a young patient, 25 years old. He had uh, familial polyposis with a rectal cancer, with a, a cancer of uh, the um, uh, right colon and another one transverse colon. He had neoadjuvant radiochemotherapy for the rectum and uh, radio chemotherapy for, uh, for both and uh, refused to be operated prefer to have traditional medicine in China and uh, came back one year later after. And it is at this moment I decided to operate him because he was suffering more and more and uh, preferred to be operated. And it is a tumor circular at the beginning. And as you see, it is uh, very rigid and using uh, um, Thunderbit or, um, is uh, very important because we go slowly in contact with the back of the prostate. You see the fibrotic tissue. Uh, it, we did uh, frozen analysis as we have uh, to do. It's bleeding, but we can control. I'm using um, bipolar coagulation with this device, we can use both. And this is the advantage, we go slowly, very slowly, but we go ahead, we never come back due to bleeding. If we go slowly in the right plane, we will go down step by step on right, on left, anterior, as now. We continue the dissection of the back of the prostate. So in this case, we are dissecting, staying on the back of the de Novelier fascia. Other case, male, 45 years old, T4 tumor with invasion of the de Novelier fascia. Neoadjuvant radiochemotherapy, decide to do anterior tumor. It was anterior tumor, and we have a doubt with uh, invasion, uh, persistent invasion, even with downstaging or fibrosis. It was a discussion. And we decide to do this operation with uh, lateral lymphadenectomy because it's a young patient, an anterior tumor, and I think uh, more risk of uh, um, metastasis, non-metastasis in case of anterior tumor. Um, this is what I'm doing slowly. You will see soon the nodule coming and a part of uh, the posterior aspect of the prostate will be reset with the nodule, you will see soon. 
to we are going down slowly as uh, before we will do frozen analysis to be sure you see some uh, suspect tissue in this case this is a capsule of the prostate i'm removing we will remove this you see you will see better soon this is a part of the prostate we see the defect anteriorly fix to this and we will do analysis for then this is the part of the prostate and uh, what we can do and we understand uh, um, how useful is this type of uh, device that can uh, do we see very well the nodule the um, part of the prostate coming and we will do analysis of this And we will, uh, after we pass under the, the non-villier fascia, because uh, I will explain after, the non-villier fascia is not on all the anterior wall. It's beginning at the top of the seminal vesicle and um, end of, uh, at the end of the prostate. Uh, is there some tricks? I will say yes, this is an easy case, but you see I'm using retraction and good retraction, it's nice to obtain a good view on the pelvis, even in male patient. It's not always easy, but um, believe me, I think my uh, conversion rate is uh, less than 1%. And when I do conversion, it's because it's not due to a problem I have during the dissection. It's because I'm deciding rapidly to convert. And uh, I don't remember a conversion for a difficulty of dissecting the pelvis. And positive uh, margin. I don't remember having positive margin. So I'm doing large enough. Uh, we see very well. You see the quality of the vision we have. It is also due and uh, you have here the zoom we have, the possibility with the four key, because you have, I don't know if you have a very beautiful picture, um, but uh, uh, I have this type of uh, picture in four key, but four key is uh, one giga per minute. So you imagine, in female. I remember, uh, I said to you that uh, it is not de Novilliers. It is a rectogenital uh, uh, fascia, the rectovaginal septum. This is a discussion with the propria fascia of the rectum examined uh, on women. There was a doubt that this exists, but uh, some authors said it is a form of the rectovaginal septum by de Novilliers fascia and the fascia propria, and uh, this protect to the spread of. So this is anatomic, cadaveric. Uh, this is uh, the rectovaginal fascia. This is posterior. But anterior, you have another one, anterior to the vagina, that is the uh, vesico, uh, vesico um, vaginal fascia. How to do? It depends on the pelvis. Why pelvis? Woman. It's easy. For teaching people, I recommend to begin by women. In male, it's more difficult because majority will have a narrow pelvis. And if it is obese, so in women, we do same. We follow medially the sidewall fascia on right, on left to free. We have begun by freeing the posterior attachment in the holy plane. And you see, we can uh, 
expose the plane behind the vagina anterior to the rectum and propria fascia of the rectum and we divide the attachment like this same using either monopolar or using as you see some uh, ligature or harmonic or thunder bit as you see here and we stay in contact with the vagina dot b to anterior same we can have two layers i have a, a movie showing that other case with monopolar dissection in easy case this is uh, the spectacular technique people love uh, we can use uh, this as you see uh, having a good traction counter traction to have uh, um, uh, efficacy during the dissection when we have this type of uh, um, uh, dissection we use very small um, uh, electrode using low energy 25 watt is enough and good traction and we see the plane open slowly and slowly and we can go from up to down like this respecting the embryological plane and it is uh, what we can do particularly in uh, uh, asiatic patient very slim where we can uh, dissect easily reaching the pelvic floor and using particularly the retractor you have seen to have a good traction counter traction we see perfectly the freeing of the uh, recto uh, vaginal fascia with this retraction as you see we can do with a posterior retraction the complete dissection of uh, all the um, pelvis in women and only working in the embryological plane. In conclusion, the de Nonvilliers fascia in male is present between the seminal vesicle and the rectum and forms a shiny white surface. The de Nonvilliers fascia begins at the top of seminal vesicle and terminates in the perineal body. I'm not sure that surgically it's completely true. And in female patient, it is a rectovaginal septum. Bill Hild said long time ago, the, we have to do the, uh, the dissection at the entire plane of the de Novelier fascia is called that is calling uh, extra mesorectal plane seem natural and bloodless while a dissection behind the novillier fascia seems difficult but oncologically optimal to justify the tme uh, standard of bill hill so the surgical plane is the mesorectal plane, so around the mesorectum, immediately outside the propria fascia of the rectum, with a dissection performed between the mesorectal fascia and the de Novillier fascia. Why it's good to preserve the de Novillier fascia? When we do extra fascial excision, the tumor will be inside the um, um, uh, specimen protected by the propria fascia of the rectum and uh, with a low risk of local recurrence or exceptional risk. Why? Because in uh, the literature or in study, um, local recurrence could be explained by a breach in the technique of the extrafascial excision of the rectum. 
So by dissecting directly also on the rectal propria fascia around the mesorectum, we remove the rectum as an intact package preserving the pelvic anatomy and minimize the sexual dysfunction uh, with a very low risk of uh, spreading the, um, the malignancy. So I want to thank for listening and um, happy to have uh, had the possibility to do these lectures for you. I see the smile of uh, yes. all uh, my <laughs> friends. <laughs> Uh, thank you very I much. I hope uh, <laughs> video was good uh, yeah, yeah. and yeah, the sound was good. Sound was good, video was really good and uh, the description and your explanation was superb. We could get a uh, lot of insight into it. Yes, Professor Armando, please. Yes, uh, uh, well, first of all, I would like to thank you, Professor Manish Sahu, to invite me to participate of this and I, I could have an opportunity to see the beauty of the videos of Joel and everything that he's doing. So uh, I believe that this is a great lesson of anatomy and how to perform rectal cancer. Uh, uh, and uh, I have a one question to Joel because uh, uh, I see that he's using multiple types of energy, but uh, what I want to know from him, if he has to choose uh, which one is his uh, preferred one, uh, is it uh, monopolar? Is it uh, bipolar? Or is it... Uh, uh, I mean, we could, we could see that Professor Jael was using monopolar, thunderbolt, and harmonic. Exactly. Which one is the, yeah. the, the preferred for, for, for you, Joel? Which one do you like most? When I'm teaching, when... Uh, uh, I remember the first time I did a live demonstration in Brazil. And I remember uh, how I have impressed our, our friend, Professor Pupo. He said, oh, he was doing the procedure with only a monopolar scissors. Oh, I never imagined it's possible. But I began with monopoly. So when I'm teaching, when I'm showing anatomy, for, I will say the first time I'm doing for the younger, um, uh, I love to use monopoly. But monopoly, it's a good scissors, small blade. And uh, the scissors you have seen are the uh, scissors, uh, I don't think it is now on, on, the, on the market of uh, Minicius Reticulator from uh, uh, Medtronics, but I use now the scissors of uh, Storz. You have long blade or short blade. These are semi-disposable. We change the blade and um, it is what I use to have a minimum of contact, avoiding a diffusion of energy, to have a concentration, and I use a very low energy. And this is what I love to do. But if I want to go fast, when um, uh, um, I know the anatomy, I'll, I use now, I would say routinely, Thunderbit. But all the device you use, um, ligature, Thunderbit, harmonic, um, monopolar. You have to learn how to use and to control this energy. It is necessary. You have seen probably sometimes I'm turning the blade because uh, I don't want to have uh, uh, injury. I'm changing the orientation to protect. I, I, I will show a movie on internet soon on YouTube um, concerning uh, the technique of dissection um, around the nerve and uh, to show the uh, danger. And uh, this is, so what I, if 
I want to go rapidly if I want to. Uh, I have no uh, public for seeing me. I'm doing with uh, Sunderby. So when okay. you when you choose a uh, uh, monopolar scissor, I mean you tell, told that it's a short blade scissor. Uh, you use the lower energy. How how low your energy is? Because quite often when you are using monopolar in the scissors, the edges will uh, get blunted off uh, very soon. I mean you need to change your blades quite often. Then how many cases one scissor will go with the monopolar current uh, on? How many? How many what? I mean, how often you change your blades, scissor blades? Ah, oh, you see, uh, I have bought uh, ten blades, and uh, uh, I have never changed. I have always uh, only one that okay. is uh, always uh, used. So it, it, it's the blade is changed because people wish to have scissors for cutting, but okay. if you want to cut, you turn the blade and you, you will have uh, a good friction to cut. But for doing, as you have seen, the um, uh, dissection with the blade, it is a spatula. I use the, my scissors as a spatula. I, I have other dissection with a spatula of uh, uh, Junji. Junji advantage, you have a, a channel inside the spatula for the smoke. So. Uh, more uh, lower is the energy, less smoke you will have, because it is mainly the traction, counter-traction that is provoking the dissection. When you apply the energy, the energy is opening the plane. But if there is a fixation, you will have to cut, you will have to coagulate. But it is mainly the energy to open the plane. So I mean that is that is in fact the main trick of using a scissor in a closed scissor which acts almost like a spatula where the cutting current will be more little more than the coagulating current and uh, that acts fine when you go on dissecting and opening up the planes. Am I right? Uh, no, uh, uh, yes, I'm opening the plane with um, energy and not high energy. 25 watt is enough. Okay. It is what you don't see. It is a traction, counter-traction. I'm controlling. Yeah. So when you are my going... left hand, my assistant is doing a traction. I'm doing the counter-traction, and my energy will control uh, is controlled by my counter-traction. Okay. Okay. So that means when you are going towards the IMA, you are using your closed seizure and the monopolar energy. And once you are into it. You want faster dissection, you use something like a thunderbolt or harmonic. Am I right? I, I just put a movie on the internet, okay. uh, on uh, YouTube, uh, on my channel YouTube, and uh, people said, uh, fantastic, this is a, a movie, I have put the reference in the presentation. But, uh, I have had some comments, fantastic with your scissors. Okay. You see, people are scissors. impressed with scissor dissection. Okay, fine. Armando, what's your choice? Uh, you prefer uh, monopolar, uh, harmonic, uh, thunderbolt? Well, you have a combination of three. Usually, uh, it's a combination of two, but uh, I prefer to dissect with uh, a monopolar, as Joel teach me. And uh, I love to use the spatula. This is my first option. Okay. But okay. Uh, the, uh, and the lower third, sometimes I use a, a, a advanced bipolar. And uh, I don't have a uh, Thunderbeat uh, in, my, in my hostel. But there okay. is one thing that is very important. When you see the video of uh, Joel, you can understand that he's not using the, the, all, all the jaws of the, the Thunderbeat. He's using just the... Oh, uh, only the active uh, blade. The, only the active The blade. first uh, third of the, the jaws. And uh, yeah. he's going very carefully with the first third of the jaws. And, and and more so we uh, mark his white whites when he is yeah, 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 uh, uh, it is a particularity of the case because it was a very fix but i, I use all the show if uh, i have to do a, a rapidly a dissection of the meso for example but in this case you are right and uh, on the first movie it was my assistant is more prudent but i said yes it's better to go like this 
Yes, and, and I believe this is an important future uh, feature for the beginners. Uh, oh, Joel can go as fast as he wants, but uh, uh, when you are starting this kind of this section, it's very important to keep calm and not rush. Uh, it doesn't matter if you're going to do this in one hour or one hour and a half. Absolutely. The most important thing is to have a good uh, surgical specimen. True. And I saw Joel doing himself, and he can do this in 20 minutes with monopolar without bleeding. But uh, not everybody is, yeah. is like Joel. So, and this is why we have to, to understand our own limitations. Okay. Yeah, but you see, you see, it's because it's not bleeding. So you will not lose time if you go slowly, if you have no bleeding. Yes, exactly what, what I said. In your hands, you can go yeah. as fast as you want. But the majority of people, sometimes they cannot find the, the correct plane. And the, the, and the jewelry of this is to understand the relationship in between the plane that Joel doing marvelous with uh, traction and contra-traction. He said that a few minutes ago. He said, I'm doing traction and contra-traction and I using energy in, in the middle so he can understand uh, very well the plane. And this is what we have to repeat from, from him and learn from him how to, how to uh, deal with this uh, traction when you are going deep in the pelvis. Uh, the moves uh, is, uh, uh, is uh, uh, small moves where you can uh, uh, see the correct planes. And, and, and I believe this is, is very important uh, to, to, to perform a good surgery. And uh, I, I have just a question. Uh, it's related to, uh, in the past, we used to follow the Roulier rules. And so we dissect uh, posterior as much as we can, and we go laterally. And I, I can understand that you now go anteriorly in a, a very, uh, uh, not you, you don't expect to go totally posterior to go anterior. You go anterior uh, a little bit early in time. Uh, and and uh, what, why are you doing that? Can you explain for us uh, how, no, how no, we no, should uh, do uh, this yeah. now? No, no. Uh, uh, I have not shown all the technique of uh, uh, first. I, I, I said we have to dissect posteriorly, we have to dissect uh, laterally, on right, on left, and uh, I'm uh, dividing, uh, and uh, you have seen, uh, normally uh, I have a lateral ligament, so that are the, uh, they are divided. I'm following uh, the side wall fascia and slowly going anterior, um, uh, on right, on left, but we have to free um, uh, posterior, and I have to complete, and you have seen, when I'm lower, to free the posterior attachment. But posterior were free uh, um, before. Uh, I have not shown all the uh, concept, but I have said, um, but you are right, uh, we have to free. Uh, this is at the end we dissect anterior when we have a rectum mobile. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. But when it is uh, uh, the last movie, it seems it's completely free posteriorly, uh, but it's easy case. But the complicated case, when it is fixed anteriorly, um, we have to free slowly, not completely posterior, and to go uh, um, uh, lateral, uh, uh, anterior, uh, posterior, and uh, dissecting around the rectum from up to down. Let me ask a question, not related to TME, but when you are doing endometriosis, do you follow the same plane of uh, cancer? Because you have to work in the right vaginal uh, septum. Uh, how, how do you do that? Uh, it's, uh, if it is an uh, anterior nodule, not a lateral nodule, you are speaking. Yes, exactly. If it's anterior. No, if it is uh, anterior. Do you, do you follow the, the TME? Uh, do you follow the no, TME? No, no, oh, no, 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 no. You know, you know, because 
uh, Arno, with Arno Vatiez, we don't do that because it is not a concert. And uh, we don't do like this. Uh, we try to keep uh, the Mesoritum. Uh, it is what I have developed with him. And it's not necessary to do, as uh, Rullier is saying, uh, uh, he's doing a lot of TME, but, but it is for benign disease. No, 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 no. So we, no, no. No, no. Okay, what's uh, your protocol remains same if there's an anterior tumor and posterior tumor? Uh, you, have, you have seen in case of anterior tumor, and we have seen at the beginning it was anterior tumor, but um, I would say very high uh, at the limit of the Douglas pouch uh, and uh, so high rectum. We can have a plane easy to dissect. Uh, in case of um, mid rectum tumor behind the uh, prostate, we will have a problem um, in case of anterior tumor. It is uh, where, and it is what I have uh, tried to show, we can have uh, fixation to the de novillier fascia, and it's necessary to pass anteriorly because there is a risk to uh, uh, open the tumor, and to, it's easier. We have to take care because we have the nerve running, um, branches of the neurovegetative uh, plexus running anteriorly to the de novillier fascia, and laterally on the angle in male patient between uh, prostate and rectum. So two lateral angle, we have the um, uh, plexus passing. Okay. So, what's your incidence of genitourinary dysfunction in your patients after resecting denonvillius fascia? Uh, concerning genital, it's um, I would say as uh, everybody, it's difficult to know because it's not easy. You have patient with uh, radiochemotherapy, you have patient, uh, elderly patient, we have patient with surgery, with stomach. I think the best criteria, in my opinion, is urinary function. I remember when I was a young surgeon, one million years ago, um, I, all the patient we operate, for rectal tumor, I will say all the patients had urinary retention postoperatively. Now it is exceptional. You have seen the guy, uh, the patient with uh, anterior tumor fixed to uh, the um, with a nodule. He had postoperative urinary retention, and he had some sexual problem recover several months after. So it is exceptional when we do this surgery, when we are posterior, we respect perfectly plexus at the origin of the hemi, when we respect uh, in the pelvis to, uh, uh, to have a um, uh, sexual problem. Uh, even urologic problem, it is exceptional to have urologic problem. I mean, and you, that, that right. means I don't agree with the uh, um, recommendation of Behil putting a cystocatheter, a suprapubic catheter, for postoperative time because we have no urinary retention. It is exceptional. I, I want to have the opinion of, <laughs> of uh, Armando, but I'm sure uh, he is not putting a, a, a suprapubic catheter. Exactly, Joe, you are right. Uh, we are not putting suprapubic catheter. In less than 24 hours, we remove the, the, right, the catheter right. from the bladder. So, so uh, it means this that, is uh, the first the, the first symptom if we have uh, injury of the plexus. True. True. So if you are maintaining the planes well, you are able to preserve the uh, neural plexus well. I think uh, this uh, post op retention and sexual dysfunction is early. Surely less, absolutely. Uh, I think I, that... I have more. I have more urinary retention, more uh, autonomic uh, uh, urinary bladder in endometriosis because we have nodule 
okay. uh, with uh, 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 neurovegetative um, branches of the plexus include that we resect and we have more urinary retention postoperatively in a female patient for endometriosis. Okay. So uh, how do you find uh, post up uh, I mean post NACT patients uh, that plan getting uh, fused and separating the denim villous fascia having any problem? I mean you showed a, a movie that uh, uh, it was uh, difficult uh, in some cases you find it uh, it's it's all very same that you do it well in all cases. I mean, we find surely difficulty in post NACT few cases. Uh, no, I think uh, uh, no particular postoperative problem. When you have a patient with um, a prostatic uh, problem before, you can have urinary retention, but it is exceptional, exceptional. We are speaking of male patient, um, in female patient. No, the, when we do that, we go slowly, you have seen. We try to respect, we avoid bleeding, we avoid complication. And um, it's not a problem. I try to, to show that if we do surgical anatomy, we will have a good uh, oncologic uh, resection, preserving function. Okay, okay. So, Dr. Joel and Dr. Armando will uh, open the questions uh, to uh, everybody so that uh, people can make themselves visible and ask questions directly. Uh, okay. Yeah. I, I, I love the comment. I love the comment of uh, I've seen of uh, Parvin. Yeah. He said, uh, uh, yeah. Dr. Fast Dr. is slow. Yes, uh, yeah. Yeah, could, you, could you be visible Fa and yeah. 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 Thank you, Joel. Thoroughly enjoyed. Wonderful presentation. Planes, it is the planes which we work on. And so, tissue is the main issue. I remember that I had seen you operating in Coimbatore also a long time back. And for you, the tissues are most important. And I could see the videos. Beautifully, you have demonstrated the planes. Thank you very much. God bless you. Thank you. Thanks. Okay, uh, Professor Supriya Mike, uh, sir, you have any questions uh, to ask to uh, Dr. Jai or to Dr. Armando? Uh, <coughs> yeah, I couldn't hear the whole talk because of the internet issues. Okay. Yeah, I could I missed out much, but I saw the pic videos, so they are quite well demonstrated. Uh, I mean, I sense you the, yeah, yeah. Can I ask one question, please? Yeah, please, please go ahead. Yeah, that was a nice presentation, Dr. Leroy. I enjoyed the video. I couldn't enjoy the audio because of communication problem. Uh, do you follow the same technique in the lab assisted AP or open AP? For the low rectal lesions. Do you follow the same technique? For? For what? For open uh, technique? For the lower rectal lesions. Will you follow the same technique? Yes, but uh, you see, um, De Novillier does not exist for low rectum. rectum yeah, it is different. It's not a problem of dissection of De Novillier uh, at this level. When we have low rectal tumor, is different. Uh, concern, uh, uh, we do the same technique of dissection. For vagina, for example, it is the same technique, but um, uh, for a male patient, uh, De Novillier is um, above. So how, how do you tackle the uh, bulky lesions in the lower rectum where extra levator is indicated? Does that make a difference? Uh, no. When uh, you have uh, invasion of uh, um, elevator, no, yes. no. I mean, you, you have a bulky tumor. Uh, you need extra elevator dis dissection. Mm -hmm. How you approach uh, in that those cases? 
I so need what? Renan Villiers doesn't exist uh, in that area. That's uh, fine. But how you approach uh, in those cases, low rectal bulky tumors? Uh, I will uh, analyze uh, the, um, if it is a bulky tumor. I hope uh, this patient will have uh, neoadjuvant uh, radiochemotherapy first to have a yes. good downstaging. I will analyze um, MRI. It's mainly the MRI that will be the um, uh, tools that will uh, help me for the type of procedure I will do. If there is no um, uh, lateral invasion, I will try to uh, pass around the tumor, but uh, enough at distance uh, to uh, respect uh, oncologic uh, resection. And uh, if in case of bulky tumor, the problem is, is it indication of APR? Because if we are sure we pass around the tumor, we can do the dissection. If not, we have to do APR. Okay. Is it that NACT only you consider for bulky tumors? Uh, or how hard percentage of your patients they receive NACT? Do, I mean, 95, 96% or you only select out few cases for NACT? It's a question. I, I, I mean, uh, do you do you not prefer NACT in majority of your cases? No, uh, neoadjuvant radiochemotherapy indications are for tumor above T2, for okay. mid and low rectum, or okay. tumor T2 and plus so with uh, uh, positive nodes. I, I mean, how, how often your cases you get, uh, you quite often, the, most of the cases they present uh, to us here, they are fast uh, T2. So, our 95, 96% of our patients, so we subject them to NACT and it followed by surgery. So is the scenario same or is the, I mean, scenario is different uh, you? In, t in case of T2? Yeah. In case of T2, we will not do uh, uh, neoadjuvant radiochemotherapy. We okay. do surgery first. Okay, okay. So we have uh, Rudra. Uh, Rudra, you have any question? Yeah, just uh, uh, my question was uh, that if you do a transcendental TME, that is uh, reverse, then yeah. uh, will you uh, still find the denonvillier fossa so easily? We can. I will say yes. But the problem is after radiochemotherapy, we have seen this type of tumor we have seen. I'm not sure we will find the plane as I did for the patient from up to down. I think uh, we can ask uh, to um, Armando, but uh, I think it is not um, uh, the best approach for finding the de Novillier uh, doing a down to up for mid rectal tumor. I mean, I mean, that's the reason uh, why this topic was kept for a top-down TME because uh, Denonvillier's fascia probably is uh, more of a, a requirement when you go for a top-down TME. Top-down TME, correct. Yeah. But yeah. I just, for curiosity... Uh, I, 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 yes, I, I could understand that, yes. I mean, that's fine. Uh, do you have any other questions, Rutra, for... Uh, no, Theoretically, yeah. it is uh, p p possible, but we have to learn how to find. But uh, I don't think it's uh, when it is fixed, you have seen the easier manner to find is to have the opening of the plane up to down. Right. Because uh, nowadays the transcendental TME, pro transcendental yeah. TME people, they yeah. try everything from transcendental and they do little from above. So they are, they are now uh, in the reverse plane of dissection. So, Armando, you have, you have any comments to make on this? I mean, uh, down, uh, up, TME? Well, uh, uh, I can be suspicious for that. I, I, I really believe that uh, top down is the best way to perform. Uh, yeah, exactly. But, Armando, uh, when uh, 
I we speak, I speak of uh, transanal. I'm doing uh, pure transanal. But people are not doing pure transanal. They are doing uh, mixed hybrid technique, up to down okay. and down to up, two team operating. Um, and when they are not passing down to up, they pass up to down. So it is uh, not really um, a transcendental uh, approach. This is uh, assistance, uh, transcendental assistance, or uh, up to down assistance. Yeah, well, in, fa in fact, uh, uh, when we ask for, for some guys that I just bought Kate's technique, they are using two teams. And so, and the last time I asked to the audience, how many people are able to work with two teams? I believe less than 5% of the surgeons are able to work with two teams. And the majority <laughs> of the case, or you, you have to do both sides. And as Joel said, uh, we did some case together, and I can uh, uh, consider and agree with him that if I have to do something from below, I, I want to try to do everything from below because this is going to work for the patient. And uh, I believe that in Asia, with very low BMI, in the future, this is, is going to be the preferred technique for uh, retinal cancer because uh, when you have some tools that are going to... Uh, help you, uh, give you uh, uh, some uh, uh, facilitation to do the, the splenic flexure sometimes. So you can do everything from below. But uh, nowadays, uh, in, the, in my population, the average BMI of uh, retinal cancer in Brazil, my population in a private hospital, unfortunately, is 34. And so... It's, uh, uh, and so up is a difficult uh, proposition in those cases. Am I right, Amanda? In, yes, a, in, uh, to, in a higher BMI uh, person? Yeah. You have to send to Parvin first to do uh, uh, that. Uh, uh, trick first and then uh, do it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Down 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 and, and I had some challenges. I had a patient with BMI 47 in the last month. Uh. So. 47. So, okay, okay. Uh, we have uh, Professor Madhavanandkar, our head of surgical oncology in Ames Bhubaneswar. Uh, Madhav, uh, you have uh, comments, suggestions, questions uh, to Joel and Amanda? Anybody? No. Manas was I enjoyed the thing. Hello? Yes, yes, please. Good, yeah, yeah. Professor Leroux, there's a technique uh, that is uh, unique and uh, I think this technique uh, belongs to individual thing. And one has to see how it will be effective for each and every person. And uh, we cannot compare that both sides, like uh, top down and uh, down off, uh, what uh, Dr. Rudra was telling. The general uh, social resection is mostly uh, enjoyable from top down. This is the thing. Uh, thank you so much, Larry. So I think Denon Villiers' consideration is uh, all quite often from the top-down consideration, less often uh, down yeah. Down. Yeah, yeah, true, true. Uh, you have uh, Dr. Kamala Khan Panigrai, uh, uh, Kamala sir is a neurologist. I mean, uh, he will be surely highlighting something on uh, that uh, with TME that we perform and the lack of in a genetic urinary problem and uh, sexual dysfunctions and how you manage them and what suggestion you have for them. Welcome. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, to this. I am a urologist. No, I am not well up with your uh, colorectal uh, cancer. Uh, I know. 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 I yeah. Okay. Uh, thank you very much. Actually, I am a urologist. I am not well uh, accustomed to your laparoscopy colorectal cancer, but the urology practice also would you give respect to this denominal facade to keep the pure prosthetic ligament intact so that the uh, continence mechanism and uh, sexual activity is preserved. Uh, thank you very much. And uh, I thoroughly enjoyed the show. Thank you. Very much. 
I mean, the whole idea was to give the importance to Denonvillius fascia that how important it is for us to uh, preserve uh, and so that the sexual and genitourinary dysfunctions would not happen to patient. As uh, Joel highlighted, that uh, quite less often now he is encountering less post op retention as he was doing in his uh, encountering them in his younger days. Of course, perhaps Joel, you are much younger now. It's you are no not older now. You are you are younger now also. Yeah. I, 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 oh, sorry. I want uh, to discuss with a uh, urologist. Yeah. Uh, as you have seen uh, on the last uh, male uh, movie with uh, anterior nodule, where yeah. I'm resecting um, part of the... We have seen that I open the capsula of the prostate. This is different of the Nonvilliers. Some people are saying they are dissecting uh, behind the de novelli, but they are behind the prostate and the capsula of the prostate. This is different. I, I want to have the comment of this picture, of this, uh, what I said now, by the urologist, because they do uh, prostatectomy and they are anterior to the de novelli and they resect. Or they resect the de Novilliers, I don't know, but I suppose they are anterior to the de Novilliers. I mean, what's your opinion? Uh, yeah, I mean, urologist's opinion on that. When you do a yeah, prostatectomy, you. Correct. When you are doing radical prostate game, there are so many innovations has come out now. How to keep the neurovascular bundle intact and this denominator intact. That is uh, now still it is undergoing a uh, lot of changes. So more. Mm -hmm. uh, people go on doing uh, to preserve the neurovascular bundle, uh, fascia and all the liver study ligament to preserve the sexual function and the continuous mechanism. That's the, the okay. beauty of the surgeons. Thank you very much, Dr. La. Oh, it's why it's an interesting uh, picture showing that it is a capsula I have resected and a, a part, a small part of the prostate. Professor, Professor Leroy. Yes. yes, please. Yeah, I think uh, I think uh, in radical prostatectomy in the MRI, if there is a capsular invasion, they take out the complete dinner winner fossa uh, along with the prostate in the radical prostatectomy because that will complete the uh, CRM uh, of the prostate. So uh, it is not. It definitely you will not like to lose the function. But definitely, you cannot leave behind the fascia which is positive. So, in radical prostatectomy, also the denervular fascia is removed when uh, in the they find some tethering. Okay. 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 Uh, Professor Soros comes out, sir. Uh, Soros, sir, you have any questions or comments to make? Now, in I Brazil think, and yeah. in uh, India, when uh, people are speaking, saying, presenting somebody, mm -hmm. they say, Professor Joel, <laughs> in both, in both countries, they right, don't say right. Le Roi. Yeah. Uh, Armando, it is Armando, it's not Melanie. Uh, 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 Manash is uh, uh, what we say in India. It is uh, yeah, uh, only not, the last not, name we use. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, but <laughs> Manas is my, my first name. <laughs> it That's doesn't matter. No Manas. Yeah. Yes, okay, fine. Mm. So, uh, you have any question, Madhav, or any, or any suggestions to make? Anything? No. Okay. No, no, I, I enjoyed thoroughly. Okay, the thank discussions you so and everything uh, uh, early. Uh, thank you. Thank but you. only one comment that, that is like depending upon the stage of the disease, like a, a circumferential involvement that counts the thing. True. When we are uh, talking about like nerve sparing, even in prostate surgery, also, if True. it is the tumor margin that is important, that condition, so we have to balance whether we are doing for the tumor free resection or the nerve sparing. That like what is the that that is the critical situation I have to see. This we cannot compare that uh, there is a disease, but we have to talking about the nerve sharing surgery. Yeah. Like yeah. both we cannot contradict. Absolutely. But absolutely. while it is possible, 
this we have to stick to the plan and maintain what the professor leader is doing that is the te- yeah. technique you have to follow i, I think that's my comment yeah yeah absolutely that is uh, in fact the main motto for this session that uh, it yeah. is surely yeah. important to preserve the neural plexus uh, to preserve the erogenital uh, function, function and yeah. everything uh, absolutely fine so that the post of yeah. complications will be much less much less but uh, when there is a surgical involvement uh, you have to really uh, consider at that point of time whether the neural function preservation is important or the radicality is important important I mean, yeah. yeah absolutely absolutely <coughs> so i think is there any other question from anybody else uh, asok asok or any any of our residents or anybody Uh, Dr. Manas, can I ask uh, one small sure, aspect? Sure, please, please. Dr. Leroy, how are you using your uh, assistants to retract? As you as you presented, that is a question of traction and counter traction. So, what are the various methods in which they are providing the traction? It's a very good question. Thank you. Uh, I have uh, I have done a movie. showing this and i have called that mind piloted video navigation you see when a assistant is ready to do it's because it's following you so it is mind piloted video navigation we see that he is following you and anticipate all your uh, uh, motion you will do and how i do it is what i try to teach and uh, i have a movie showing that that it is uh, fantastic i'm sure that uh, intuitive will use this command they will say the first video navigation with mind piloted uh, no actually when you have a good assistant is doing before you will do or is anticipate and why is doing is because i'm doing always the same always the same always the same when so this is a movie i have called video navigation and mind piloted or mind piloted video navigation sure Yes. Thank you. Thank you. I, I suppose I suppose it is uh, uh, in this title. Um, compi- it's fabulous that. when you see the dissection of the nerve. It seems I have stopped. No, it is uh, uh, without stopping. My um, uh, uh, dissection is uh, never stop because this is the difference with a robot. You stop. You move. You stop. You move. you stop you change and you do all yourself no it's all together sure thank you thank you very much madam could you just mute your mic yeah uh, i think uh, uh, i think that you have made things absolutely clear but at one point you showed a nice retractor uh, anteriorly retracting uh, that was by stars you mentioned i mean is it uh, manually uh, retracting that uh, it's like an right angle yes uh, yeah it is as a valve you okay. retract you introduce uh, supra pubic supra pubic and uh, there there is different shape depending of uh, anatomy uh, okay. we have the, the standard is a h shape uh, i use a t shape and the v shape V is uh, uh, for male patient where we are dissecting behind the prostate, and uh, it is interesting. You can use uh, assistant to retract between uh, the leg, or you use um, uh, support fixed on the table, and in this case it will not move. It will be fixed on the arm, articulated arm, um, uh, fixed on the table. Okay. Okay. So uh, that that retractor is fixed to your table. I mean, uh, you, you can, don't. Yeah, you can. But okay. because uh, I said, uh, Armando, I'm going too fast. So if I'm not doing a demonstration, I prefer okay. not to be fixed. I prefer to have a good assistant. He will suffer. 
because retracting is not easy. No, no. Only to remember the difference with open. When we do open, we use a valve to retract oh. anteriorly no, between the legs. The difference is when uh, the assistant is retracting, uh, when we do a laparoscopy, he will see what he is doing on the uh, on the screen. Okay. In open, it will see nothing. It will learn nothing. True, true. So, Omen, do you have any questions? Uh, Vikram, Vikram, yes. Vikram is our resident. Uh, yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir, sir. Uh, do you have any question? He is uh, the final year resident uh, in surgery. He is a fantastic uh, resident. He is a absolutely fabulous student. So he'll be now asking you a question. Yes, Vikram, please. Uh, yeah, be visible. Uh, one thing I wanted to ask is, uh, uh, like, Summarizing it, sir. Like in the anterior uh, tumors, we will be like, uh, uh, we'll be uh, taking out the denonvillus, right, sir? So, hello? Sir, I'm audible. Go ahead, go ahead. you're audible. Go ahead. Yes, sir, yes, sir. So, the summary, like, which I can take is like in the anterior uh, tumors, like, we will be removing the denonvillus, right, sir? And in the posterior, we'll be leaving it that so that like, uh, or is it like uh, in all the cases, we'll be dissecting it in between the Denon Williams fascia? Yeah, so, Professor Joel, he wants a final summary from you that uh, whether only in anterior tumors you need the Denon Williams fascia to be taken out, or in all the cases you preserve the denonvillus fascia. That's what he wants, the final words from the horse's mouth. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. Uh, for, I, I will say in uh, 90, 99% of the cases, I'm keeping the denonvillus fascia. So it is irrespective yeah. whether it is anterior or posterior tumor. But anterior, it's not uh, enough. It's anterior with uh, invasion or fixation. Yeah. When it's difficult to free. True. And you have seen one of the cases that was uh, one year after. It's easier than uh, operating uh, 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 five, six weeks after the end of neoadjuvant radiochemotherapy, where there is a lot of edema after one year, but we don't wait one year. But uh, uh, the danger is uh, to dissect too rapidly after radiochemotherapy because there is a risk um, of uh, fixation of anterior tumor and even to the prostate. So we have to do neoadjuvant radiochemotherapy to wait the downstaging within six weeks after the end of the uh, neoadjuvant therapy and um, dissecting if there is a good we see the MRI if there is a no danger we will try to keep the de novelli fascia or dissect between you have seen if it is a high rectum usually we can preserve if a mid rectum would be difficult. If it's a low rectum, we can preserve. Yes, sir. Got it, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank got, you. Got your answer, Vikram. Yeah. If it is high rectum, yes, you can always, and in a low rectum, it's always feasible. I mean, high and mid, uh, I mean, it all depends uh, whether the neo adjuvant. Uh, scenario, the fixity and the additions, I mean, the desmoplastic reaction. Okay. Yes, yeah. but yes, yes. 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 you have understood why we do that. We resect, uh, we 
because if we don't resect, we can be oncologic. If we don't resect, we can preserve better functional. Yeah. But sometimes it is necessary to resect for advanced tumor, for tumor fix, and particularly for anterior tumor. It is what we can summarize. So I, I think uh, I will ask to Armando, but there is probably for um, colorectal surgeon consensus concerning this. And um, it seems easy to dissect behind the denovillier, respecting the proprietor fascia. So, I mean, it, it, is, it is a balanced decision which has to be taken, whether you are going to preserve the neural function or you are getting the oncology clearance. That, that decision is very, very, very important. Am I right, uh, Dr. Joy? Yes, I mean, you are right. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, we can yeah. do, uh, we can be oncologic, we can be functional, and uh, the, what it is important is to understand the anatomy and to find how to recognize the embryologic plane. Absolutely right. Nice. Vikram, you got your answer? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. 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 Is there any other question from anybody? I think, uh, Armando, you, you can wind up uh, with your final comments so that... Uh... Well, I believe that we have a great opportunity for this uh, uh, amazing webinar where uh, we have all the master of the retal surgery for me, my uh, surgery, that is uh, Joel. And uh, we could see how he performed, all the tips related for a good performance and uh, several questions related to the procedure and uh, i would like to thank the opportunity from the academia uh, professor manash and being here once more to see this uh, great uh, talk and this amazing uh, meeting so thank you very much uh, it's a privilege and honor for me being here Thank you. So thank you, Professor Joel, and thank you, Professor Armando, for re accepting my request to be with us today evening. And it was a wonderful session, wonderful exchange of ideas. It was a really learning session uh, from Joel uh, regarding Denonvillius fascia, how important it is uh, from the oncologic preservation and from the neural uh, preservation, how to balance the thing, how to go between the plants, uh, and how nicely he demonstrated the videos and movies were all fantastic thank you very much uh, and we'll be loving to have you again in some time next in fact armando has uh, another talk on tme on the first of december and where, which will be moderated again by joel that will be uh, that will be an exchange of uh, things that day again uh, we'll be meeting uh, december first with both of you in between, uh, next week, uh, we'll have another session on Hylar cholangiocarcinoma, uh, the managing ch the challenges and the tricks uh, that will be coming up next week with uh, Dr. Jagannath uh, from Lilabati, Mumbai. Okay, so thank you everybody for uh, patiently joining and listening patiently for till uh, 9.40 p.m. It's wonderful to have you, uh, Dr. Joel. You are uh, your evening time is coming up for your evening coffee, and thank you, Amanda. Your uh, lunch time is coming up now. <laughs> thank you so much, uh, both of you, for joining, and it's a, it's a real pleasure to have both of you, and it's a pleasure to have each one of you today evening. We really enjoyed everybody's presence. we we'll would be looking forward to more of this kind of events every week, every week, every Tuesday, 8 p.m. So please join in. Thank you, Manaswas. Thank you. Thank you, Madhav. Thank you very it's much. It's a fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, you. Thank, you. Thank, you. thank you very much. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you Armando. Thank you, Joy. Uh, thank you, thank Professor. You thank you, Armando. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Namaste. <laughs> Good. Manaswas, you are putting it to the YouTube? Yeah, yeah. I will be. I will be. I will be. I, sure. Yeah, for all the students, they should be very good. Yeah. Yeah, sure, sure. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Stay safe. Take bye. care. Bye bye. Bye, Abando. Bye, uh, Manesh. Yeah, bye bye. bye. Well. Stay bye. safe. Bye. Thank you. Stay bye, safe. Yeah.
बाय माधव बाय एवरीबडी बाय